Miss Michelle Allen of A Sharp Photo, the one and only plus size certified photographer on the planet. I wanted to talk about something that I've called the Apollo. Wait, what? Uh, sure, complex. We'll go up complex. Uh, the Apollo complex. If you haven't, make sure you like and share this. Good stuff. Definitely somebody needs to hear this. Y'all remember the, um, that television show, Showtime at the Apollo? Anybody remember that? I think um, I think it came back on. You know, I think it was off for a while and it came back on. All right. All right, so Showtime at the Apollo, right? Um, basically, it was, a, it was a talent show. You know, so you would get on the show and if you were good, the audience would cheer and clap and everything and, you know, you'd go on to the next round and all that type of thing. But if you were bad, the audience would actually boo, which is rare, right? But <laughs> the Apollo, they would boo. And if they continued to boo and you could not turn the crowd around, they would stop your music and this guy would come out called the Sandman and he would push you off stage and that would be that you know it was kind of horrible and my opinion the reason for you getting booed was because the people around you did not tell you the truth your mom loves you your dad loves you your friends and family love you and they tell you that you're great that everything you do is awesome and no one ever tells you the truth about what you actually can and can't do. And because of that, <laughs> you end up in a situation with people that will tell you the truth. So, and you know, okay, all right, that's an oversimplification, right? Because sometimes you are better than the people you're around. And if you're better than they are, then as far as they know, you're good. If they don't know any better, right? You know, so they're like, eh. I guess you're good, but then you get around people who actually know what talent is, they know what singing is, they know what whatever your given discipline is, they know it. So when they see you, they're like, nah, that ain't it. You know, and you're surprised because everyone's always told you how wonderful you are. <laughs> so you don't know any better, you know? So it's important to um, be around people that know what's going on. I, I honestly... I am always striving to be the weakest person in the room, right? There's something that I can strive for. There are people that I can pull on. There's people that I can reach out to and say, okay, this is something for me to reach for because I'm here and all of them are here. You know what I mean? And if you're in a situation where you're always the best, then it's hard for you to really see you know, where you need improvement, you know. Um, also, if you're in a situation where people only compliment you, people only tell you how wonderful you are, people only tell you how great you are, and side note, you need that. You need to be in a space where people love you and celebrate you and appreciate you, but you also need to find a way to be in a space where people criticize you. And I don't mean that in any type of negative way. I mean, in a way, okay, so when I started photography, um, the main things I did that I think really put me where I needed to be is I was in a, a few Facebook groups where we would rate each other's work, you know, so you take some photos and you upload them and you would actually put um, your settings, uh, the, the different things that you did in the photo and you put it up there and say, hey, um, what do you guys think? What is your, What are your recommendations? What, is, what are your comments? What is your criticism? And you, you had to learn to develop a thick skin, you know, but you also had to learn to, to hear decent criticism, you know, so I don't like it. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. You, you did not expand on the shadow side, so I can't see it at all. That's good criticism. So you need to be in a place where you know what you're doing so that when they give you criticism, it makes sense and there's something that you can work towards. Be so careful about only putting yourself in spaces where people only tell you the good things and no one tells you the bad. Because, I, matter of fact, I got a friend who, 
coaches football and he talks about how he puts up game film for his players to, to watch and he has a, um, a platform that they can do it in and they he can tell when they don't watch it he can also tell what they watch and interestingly enough a lot of these players when he puts up this game film the only thing they watch are their highlights the things that they did well and he's like you don't need to watch that you already know what you do well what you need to watch but you mess that's what you need to pick it up and you need to find a way to be able to see your flaws so you can fix your flaws if you never see them if no one ever tells you if you're not aware of them you can't fix them and a lot of times small flaws are small when you're at a certain level but when you get to another level they're massive and you don't want to get to a point where your your small flaws are exposed as major flaws on a major platform so like I said, make sure you like and share this. Make sure that your room is a room that allows you to grow. So look at your circle of friends, look at the people around you, and if they're not people that can sharpen you, that can make you better, you gotta get you some new friends. You understand what I'm saying? You have a good day.